You hear that music? I do. Oh yeah. This soundtrack from Heaven is for Real. So we many pictures. We went and saw it and my girlfriend who is a mom in LA, Spring Aspers, did the soundtrack over at Sony. So playing a little little bit of that because Laura just wrote a great movie review on momangelist.com. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hey, you are listening to a Best of LA with Kristen and Laura. I'm Laura Nickerson, and that is Kristen Cruz. What's up, Kristen? What's up, guys? So we are celebrating this movie. Uh, the director is a female mom. Like I said, my girlfriend is a mom here in LA. Um, also, director is Latina mom. And, uh, you know, and we got to hang out with uh, Devon Franklin, the producer, the other day on the Sony lot. We took some great pictures. We had a great review from thanks to Knickerburger. And honestly, not enough tissues for a room full of female bloggers. Oh my God. They passed out tissues at the beginning of the screening. And I don't think they had enough. Now, if you don't know about Miracle from he Miracles from Heaven, oh, it's this Miracles new movie. Heaven? Oh, Heaven is for Real is his first one, isn't it? Yes, Miracles okay. from Heaven. Okay. Which is, it's a movie coming out. Uh, it opens, I believe, on March 16th, and it is starring Jennifer Garner and Queen Latifah. It's basically the story, a uh, real-life story about a little girl who got very, very sick, uh, fatally sick, and because she had an accident and fell down a tree, she hit her head, and uh, somehow that cured her, and she believes that she had a miracle, and she saw God. It was a very interesting film, very uh, heart-wrenching for any moms, especially out there, because it's really the story of of Jennifer Garner's character, Christy Beam, and her daughter, Anna Beam, um, and their their journey together. So anyway, check out Mom Angelus. You can see, uh, see my blog there, get the whole review on it. Very well, impressive stuff. Another thing about it, and just as moms in Hollywood, and if you're interested in what happens here, and we are about Best of LA, so hashtag Best of LA to follow us. Um, Jennifer Gardner, who lives here in Brentwood, uh, mm. this was her first leading role since she started having kids, really. So that's about 10 years ago or so. And this is the movie she chose to come back with. And the yeah. reason why, as you, you can tell, you can tell because if you're a mom like Jennifer, she wrote that screenplay and she went, Forget it. Yeah. 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 It is a really, it's a moving film and it's, it almost gave me one of those like weird little spiritual, like, I don't know, revelations. Lightning was coming down through the theater. It was a whole thing. I'll, I'll have to tell you about it on another blog. But anyway, did you see the Oscars last night? She was there, Jennifer Garner. Hollywood. Mm. Okay. That's, so, I, isn't this great? So, we yeah. talked about this. Yeah. Um, we want to talk about that, but I want to do it with a person who knows what they're talking about when it comes to Hollywood. That is very true. We have host Jill Simonian coming on in just a minute here. We're going to have her talk about all the work that she's doing. She's got a new show going on. She's a mom host. She's a mom, you know, which is hard enough. And she's got all sorts of great stuff coming on. So we're going to have Jill come on in just a minute and talk to her about all the crazy fun she's been up to, right? Yeah. And let me tell you what, Jill actually... Hmm. Even though we now know her from CBS um, LA, that's two and nine here, KKL nine. Uh, we she's also really her first love. Her first how we got to know her on TV was from being a red carpet reporter, a celebrity interviewer, the one that would sit down with you know Tom Hanks and and uh, you know uh, Julia Roberts to interview them. So she's that person. Um, mm -hmm. Mom turns this, so she definitely knows how to reinvent, and she definitely knows about Hollywood. So she's the perfect person to have on tonight. That's right. Well, she'll be on here any second. In fact, Jill, if you're out there, just come on, come on the blab with us because we definitely want to see your lovely face and hear your beautiful voice. And uh, as we're getting ready to hear our friend Jill Simone, I just want to let you know that we got a cool giveaway coming up. It's coming up quick. It's Big City Moms, the biggest baby shower, in Los Angeles, and we are going to give away a whole pack. It in just a minute, but first, Jill Simone and hi, sweetheart. Am How I are you? Hi, I hi. didn't realize I was supposed to you guys. Thanks, this is fun. I didn't, I'm literally looking on my keyboard and I go, Oh, shoot, she told me to like join in. What am I supposed to do? So it's like, Okay, I'm here, we're good. <laughs> yeah, you click your heels three times, but you made it. I know. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what I like to say lately, it's, and it's so true for me. We, and Laura's the same way. We're very like techie people. I feel like a millennial mom trapped in a Gen Xer's body. I love yeah. all of this, this online communication we have, this digital community of moms and parents. It's so cool. But I mean, I am I feel like the guinea pig. I am only screwing it up first because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I really want to try the new stuff. So here we are. Yeah, and at least you're screwing it up. I'm like, no, that I'm doing this, 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 and I'm not even paying attention. Like, I'm not even going to Snapchat because it scares the you know what out of me. And I'm like, yeah, I don't. I'm. I give you credit for trying because I won't even try. I try I to go. I'll go Snapchat. like so far, and then that's it. Yeah, I try to go on Snapchat, and I, they age me out. They kick no. me out. Like it's like when I walk into Forever Twenty One, they're like, "Out, lady, not happening for you." <laughs> Two, get out of here. Be gone. Jill Simonian, I'm glad you're here, and I've had Jill on the show before. I don't remember if you've been on my co-show or not. Probably. We've we've been friends for years, and Jill is the person I want to go to weighing in on the Oscars last night. Red carpet. Do's and don'ts, fashions, moms. Now, listen, this is not CBS LA. You don't have to be all nice about this. Okay? I'm not going to be nice. In fact, a lot of people are probably going to hear what I'm going to say, and they're going to say, who is this chick? I Okay, so I I, I will tell you, I, I heard what you said about me in the beginning, and I was so flattered, and my whole life flashed before my eyes mm. when you said, oh, she was an entertainment reporter, and this and this and that. And I'll just tell you right here and now with all of us listening, hi, everybody. Um, I, every single time the Oscar, okay, so I, the last time I worked at the Oscars was in 2009 and that was, oh my gosh, seven years ago. And every time, wait, seven years ago. Yes. Wow. And every time the Oscars come around, I have this like weird pseudo, like semi mental breakdown, but it's not really like a sad, depressed mental breakdown. It's like a nostalgic, oh, I miss that so much. But at the same time, you know, it's like I have this weird thing happen to me. So, like, I'm coming off of that right now. So okay. I'm very flattered to be on your show talking about the Oscars because, you know. But the I, That's a happy mental breakdown. I didn't know you could do that, but that sounds better. I'm going to do that. It's like, it's like I sit in front of the TV and I'm like, ah, I wish I was there. But it was yeah. so crowded and uncomfortable when I was there. But I wish I was there. But, um, I'll tell, so what do you want to know? What should what do you All want right. to know how what mm -hmm. I like on the red carpet, a lot of controversy. And I was just doing this uh on my blog. The moms yeah. who own the red carpet, moms really rocked that red carpet, whether they were pregnant or new moms or mm -hmm. moms with new kids like Heidi Klum, they really went for it. But speaking of Heidi Klum, for instance, did not make the best dressed list, I would because, say. No. Her dress was yeah. her, I, I, I personally thought her dress was so, and if it's the one that I'm thinking of, I saw a picture of her in this like one shoulder chiffon gown, purple lavender thing, right? That's it, right? I'm going to find it right now. Was, I thought that was terrible. If that was the picture, that was terrible. I thought it was, and she's such a beautiful woman. And I was shocked to see her in something that just, it was a it was an odd fit for her. It was it seemed like it, it was like a teenage thing, but kind of like ugh, it just I didn't like it at all. I loved Chrissy Teigen's dress. She looks great in anything. I thought that was like really like sexy but classy. And then um, Olivia Wilde was gorgeous. Oh wait, hold on. I'm hearing you, but I'm like not hearing you, Chrissy. I thought Olivia Wilde was gorgeous because she's always gorgeous and it had like a very revealing front. Yes. Um, I yeah, thought that it did. was cool. Yeah, but I, I I don't know. Like, what I might be totally off. Like, I might be. I might have been in the midst of like the happy, nostalgic mental breakdown and not been thinking clearly. But I don't know. You know, you know what? My my kids looked at her and she said, "They said, um, oh, she looks really cold." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, she, well, yeah. it's chilly down in the region. You know what it I mean? It is. I know. Okay, if you can see, you can't even see it. I was going to show you a picture okay, of Heidi Klum. Wait, oh yeah, man." Oh, no, no, no. But that is, it. that's the one that I'm thinking of. That's the picture. It's like a purpley lavender frilly yeah. thing, right? I don't know if I can show it to you properly on my iPad. It, just, it was weird. And even it was weird. Yeah. After party, she with the Vanity Fair after party, she put on something else. I think it was Versace. And she still looked weird. And you know what? Here's the thing. She's gorgeous. She's a mom. She's kick butt. I love yeah. her. She owns it no matter what. She's a model. She knows how to just be like, I am here yeah, like, here I am, and here I roar. 
But I just, I, I it wasn't feeling the dresses and it bummed me out because she is just. Stunned. I know. And that's the one that was always the, like the hit. Right. Remember when she and Seal would, okay, so the last time yeah. when she and Seal would Seal. walk the red carpet together and it was always like the, this is going to be the go-to standard because these, she always looks so great. And it just, it was such a difference. The tide was just turned a different way. <laughs> you know what though? I think, I think they all look great. I, I applaud any woman who gets up, throws on some spanks and a little makeup and gets out of the house, especially if they have kids. I mean, that alone should yes, get like some kind of small statuette. Yes. Just for that's doing a small it. statuette. Yes. But at the same time, these are not regular people. These are celebrities. So like I have, I hold them to a higher standard because they have all the help. They have all the makeup. They have all the everything. And it's like a different, it's like, you know, it's like the Mount Everest of the red carpet. Like that is, I give all of us credit for like having makeup on right now, yeah. but like for them, no, they're in a different category. <laughs> I know, but think about it. Imagine an I know, Emily right. Blunt. Emily Blunt, right? Think of how pregnant she was and how hot it was yesterday. And I, she had to go and like roll herself out of the house and like stuff herself in that dress. She's probably like sweating between her legs. And you know what I mean? Like I felt for her. Yes. I'm like, you know, what? No, yeah, good whatever's point. good. Yes. You're no, good, that's girl. Good You're good. It's the pregnant card. That's yes. the, yes. The oh, pregnant. Or, or having been pregnant at any point in your life. Right. That's what I'm going to pull out for the rest of mine. Yes. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm still losing the baby fat, my kids. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. A lot more now. Okay. So, on the red carpet, you've been there, done that, girlfriend. Mm. Now we got we got mom life going full force, but you're still, and I love this mixing her real passion for mom life and her passion for being on camera and reporting, and it's come together on CBS LA with one of my favorite broadcasters, uh, Pat Harvey, who I've known for many years. Uh -huh. And I'd love to see you guys. It's only been a couple of weeks. You guys need to catch it on Wednesday nights. But uh, but it's it's so fun. Please tell us about it. If you haven't tuned in yet, you're gonna want to. So it's real. Thank you. It's super super fun. And I tell you, it was literally like it came out of nowhere. And I know that a lot of people say that, like, oh, this job came out of nowhere. No, honestly, hand to God, this job came out of nowhere. I was doing different segments on different channels, um, uh, you know, with like products and my big thing, my passion through, I mean, you could see, you guys know from my website, thefabmom.com, but my passion is like mom lifestyle, like things you think, things you do, things you wear, things you want to do, motivationals, that kind of stuff, like all, all of that part of life through the lens of being a mom and how to navigate that when you've got kids to take care of. So my thing is like more of like taking care of you, the woman and the mom and the, you know, and, um, and I was doing some different seg product segments on air lately. And then literally like after one of the product segments, one of the producers contacted me and said, I want to talk to you about doing weekly segments here. And I looked at the email, <laughs> literally you guys, and I looked at the email and I, for, like I screamed like a teenager and then I go, no, this is a joke. Someone's pulling my leg. I've misread this. So then I went yeah. through and I misread, I read it again. And I said, no, this is what it says. So then we talked and they said, well, you know, would you want to come on and do these weekly segments talking about parenting issues? And I said, yes, of course, absolutely. Yeah. And that's how it started. So we started literally like, I think it was 10 days after, a week after, or yeah, like 10, 10 days after. And our first segment was all about um, being conscious of spoiling our kids and how to do things to ensure that they're not spoiled. And then our second segment last week was um, how to spy on your kids, mostly teens, social media habits, so that you're not like a crazy stalking parent and you're keeping an eye on them in the name of safety. So they're kind of, and I mean, keep in mind, like I'm not, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to fool anyone. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a, you know, a, a teacher, an educator, you know. I'm a regular woman who has read a you know what load about all of this stuff ever since my first baby was born, like, you know, more than five, about five years ago. And I've just been writing about everything online and open. So what I do is I go to all my favorite resources and I collect all the data from all the different therapists and th everything. And I mm -hmm. put everything together to, for what I 
think is would be the most like pack for the punch and give parents the most support and information to be able to watch it and have the resources to say, oh my gosh, maybe I need to rethink how I want to approach my situation or, oh my gosh, I've been approaching my situation in the way that that you know, book points to and so forth. So that's what it is. And they're kind of juicy topics. And tomorrow night we're talking about um, uh, what to do or how to handle it if you find out that your kid is bullying other kids at school. Oh, and so, I want to hear about that because that is a big <laughs> issue. That is a big ticket issue when your kid's the bully. It's yeah, big. when your kid's the bully. So we're going to talk about some different things and it's been it's been it's been good. I've been really excited and I I hope everyone tunes in. I mean, it's a 4-minute segment on Wednesday nights during the 5 p.m. news on Channel 2 in LA. So, that's what it is, but it's it's really great. <laughs> we are so proud of you, Jill. Yeah. Thanks. I yes, my head is like blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, we're doing this now. Yes. It's so fun. Yeah. If you haven't been to her website, it's really a lot of fun. It is, it's, it's, and it is so mom focused. It's not like just uh, babies and kids and family. It is yeah. also mom focused, which you know is what we love at momangelist.com because we're all about living the mom lifestyle. Yeah. Us for a minute. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah also taken into consideration they have a family to take care of but uh taking yeah. care of mom is is up high on our chart and that is also why we are giving away some really cool tickets to yeah. the biggest baby shower ever baby lost shower. from oh. big city moms jill mm -hmm. are, are, you know i don't know if you've ever been to one of these uh, i haven't it is the fifth one they've had in los angeles it's the og baby shower uh -huh. it's the <laughs> biggest one in the country and it's coming here to the Skirball Center. It is so yeah. cool. Big City Moms are awesome. And we did a uh, a big giveaway. Yes. So we're hoping to announce our winner tonight on the show. Let's see if Laura has that yet for us. We uh, sure do. And I could even say it right now. I don't know. Are we ready for it? I mean, what? okay. Is everybody listening? Are you paying attention? Because we posted this on my Instagram, Knickerburger, and Kristen's Instagram, uh, Kristen Cruz, and Mom Angelus, and every other related site. I believe it was even on Pinterest. Okay, that's how serious we were about this giveaway. It was so, on MySpace. We it was on <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> I texted it to my friends, and I called them on my rotary phone. I, that's what I did. <laughs> Mom. All right. So we had you had to tag somebody else, and we had many, many entrants, and we were super excited. So the winner is Christine Galsim. Christine Galsim, G-A-L-S-I-M. And we are going to reach out to her if she's not listening right now. But if you are, yay for you. And we're going to reach out to you, and we are going to give you this amazing prize package. It is an entrance to, I'm going to look at it right now. It's the entrance to the biggest baby shower ever, which is happening tomorrow night. You are going to get a free super pass. Hashtag biggest baby shower. Thumbs up in a circle backwards to you. And you get, let's see, two people, one overflowing gift bag, one Beko Soleil baby carrier, an early entry at 530. Your prize is valued at $180. Congratulations. <laughs> And it's really great. Tomorrow night, it's it's we've got specialists there like Corky from the pump station. I think Dr. Mm -hmm. Harp is going to be there. We've got all of our favorite mommy brands that we love for the kids. Um, Baby Bjorn's going to be there. Uh, Laura and I are going to try to show you live on Facebook how yeah. to have fun. This should be fun. Um, I will be drinking. We'll make it more drinking. fun. Um, <laughs> we'll be on the red carpet with you. We'll be filming. And then 48 hours later, you will see all the behind the scenes action on our Facebook page at momangelist.com. So it is going to be so much fun. And yeah. congratulations. Thank you for entering. Every week we have a new experience to give away because Mom Angelus is not just about gifts and products and goodie bags, although I really like those. Um, <laughs> but it's about making experiences that are absolutely Instagrammable that um, hopefully will be memories for you and your family from us. Yeah. Yeah. You will not lack of things to do if you come by Mom Angelus and check out our site. We will we will guide you through all sorts of fun stuff with your family. Gosh knows we have been out painting the town lately. I mean, look, you know, we, we got movies and theater, the theater, and we've got the Legos and South Coast Botanical Gardens, and we've got the Peterson. We've got all sorts of crazy stuff coming up. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a nap. Soleil Moonfry. Soleil Moonfry. That's Punky Brewster to me, people.
coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so it's, it's really great. And it's just so exciting. Thanks for um, supporting everything that we've been doing. I really, yeah. really love your medium and thanks for, for being a part of it. Okay. Yes. So since we do have Jill with us, Jill Simonian from CBS LA, uh, the fab mom.com. So um, we have parenting issues on this show too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we got oh, issues. They're serious. All the way. We got mm-hmm. issues. big eye, big S, big S, big U, big E, big yep. butt, big chin. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead, go ahead Jaker Burger. Bring it up. I right. ask you, Jill, do you know about Kittle? Yes. Of Kittle? I okay. Do. Kittle Wait, is, I've heard of it, but tell me. It is Google's search engine for children. K I D D L E. Now, this has mm-hmm. just been launched, and if you Type it into your browser. You'll see it's all cute, right? It's all kid friendly, whatever. But here's the fun part. Try, just try typing in dirty words. Anything <laughs> going from like, from like P on, they will not let you do. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type it right now. I'm going to. I'm on my phone. Fo- literally, I'm on my phone. I'm going to put it. Yes, you know what? Pants. I did. Kid, yeah, because I've seen this. The search engine for kids. It says, Oops. okay. Oops, looks like your query contains bad words. Please try again. <gasps> yes, it does. Please try again. And then you know what, though? I'm digging the mean robot guy. <laughs> he's like a little Can grouchy looking. There's a, yeah. yeah, he's mean. Like, don't mess mm-hmm. with him. Yep. Can you yeah. see what I typed in? Uh-huh. <laughs> S-H-I? <laughs> no, there's a... There's a letter at the end of it. I don't know. I don't know. Block, block, block. No. I there was a blog. But I know. You have to put the profanity filter up on um, the uh, podcast here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Wow, it doesn't let you do that. Okay, what about like um, mm. pictures of naked people? I'm just typing this in right now. Pictures <laughs> of nudie pants. <laughs> it's it's it'll oops, talk. oops, oops, oops. It will not let me do that because there's bad words. Now, this well, is, could well, be a, like a whole drinking game can happen right here on this website. Yes, it can. It like, if you can get through. But how cool what? is that? Mm, this is really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kittle. This is cool. I'm clicking on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is something good. I feel like uh, we're doing a Rich Demuro tech guy, KPLA, <laughs> right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have one other tech thing I wanted to share with you guys. Jill, I don't know if you suffer from overworked unpaidness like I do. Never. It's a, ever. It's, it's an are affliction. Starts with what the are you skin. talking about? Um, <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea what you're talking about. But, okay, this is a crazy concept. Sarcasm so, here. <laughs> when you are a mom, especially, and you work, or you're like us, and we work like three jobs because we're always all over the place. Right. Uh, it can be a little hard to stay organized. And I am not, I have terrible handwriting. Okay, I just do. So I can't do the little to do list that my husband does so beautifully because I can't read it and I get annoyed by it. You're, I'm sorry, I went deaf when you said that your husband does a to do list. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I have a really organized husband. I have zero idea what you're talking about. That makes <laughs> you may as well have been speaking Mandarin. Oh, I have really? no idea what you just said. I'm so, Continue. I'm so Continue. <laughs> well, there's this app, it's called, um, it's called Wonder List. W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-S-T. And it Uh is an organizational app. It is not that new, I don't believe. But it's new to me. And this is what it does. I'm going to try to show you. It gives you a whole list. You can do like, I know you can't see this, although in my head you can see it really well. I'm Um, looking at it right now. Can you see it? Okay. So what you do is you make a little list and it Mm -hmm. has like groceries, movies, work, kids, right? And you you just type in, I got to do that thing, right? And then you right. open it and it cross platforms. So it, it syncs up with your phone, your iPad, your computer, all that stuff. You can access it wherever. And then when when you do the thing, you get to press a button and it goes ding, ding. And that, and that ding is so happy. A ding. Well, Here's my question though. Yeah. This is what I this is what I do with my errands and this is like my little thing that I came up with. Yeah. So like for my you know you have like a spectrum of errands. Some uh-huh. of those errands have to do with work, some of them have to do with kids, some of them yeah. have to do with home, food, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I want to know, will this app like bucket my errands? Because I organize my errands so that I do all 
food grocery related things in one day. So yes. that way my brain is like food. Yeah. And then like if I have like forms to fill out for children's extracurricular activities, like that's a whole Always. other thing. So like will it like categorize and bucket when to do the list or it, I still have to do <laughs> No, no. It, it gives you separate categories that you can create and then you can also see it as an all. So it shows you the whole Ooh. bucket list, if you will. And you can schedule a reminder for yourself as to when you're supposed to do it. And then it also will connect with your email and tell you when it's due. <laughs> So That's it's like, nice. hey, Laura, you forgot to do that today. Why don't you do that now? And it comes oh. to all my devices. So I can't have an excuse. It's really kind of been invaluable. I don't know. I mean, I'm more organized than I've that's ever cool. been. That's cool. No, that's but really it, it's cool. Free. That's really cool. Yeah, and it's free. It's a free app. And you know I love the free. Yeah, well, I like free too. I don't like spending money on things. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. That's no really way. cool. No Thanks for the tip. Yeah. You're welcome. It's a wonder list. Look, Kristen's so excited. She ran she off. She ran off to get the wonder she's, list. She's bucketing she, her errands right now. <laughs> she left the Oscar guy as a seat filler. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have that same poster. If people are, if people, that is poster is from 2009. Kristen, we, we know that's not Wait, you. What? We know that's an Oscar poster. Po we know that that's a poster. And I also know that that poster is from 2009. I have the same poster at home hanging next to a picture of myself from 2009 to remind myself uh, that I was once there. The last uh, time we were there. The last time. But look at you guys this year. We are so glamorous in our own way this year. Oh my gosh, Jamis. I'm doing an updo just for like, you know, <laughs> think of those, look at we're at the Oscars. Look. Do it. Uh, I, I okay. <laughs> you guys are fun. <laughs> well, I have to, I have to share one quick thing before we go. And I know we got to go here in a second. Um, but I had this crazy idea for my Oscar party and it kind of worked out really great. You want to hear what it was? I yeah. made a, I made a drinking game for kids. <laughs> I saw that. I saw a poster. I'm uh, not a poster, but I saw the picture of the poster somewhere. It was on my Facebook page I or Instagram or something or both. That was so funny. Babe. I looked at it and then I was confused and I go, no, 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 wait, was this? And then I read it and I said, oh, that's clever. We that's had some families with kids coming over and I thought I, I can't drink, you know, or not, not as much as I would. Um, <laughs> and I was like, oh, the kids are going to talk and yell and want things during this. So maybe I should make something for them to do. So they had to do something every time you know, uh, somebody cried or they talked about God or they, you know, thank their moms or whatever. And, uh, and it turned out pretty good. We actually had a really good time. So, you know, you don't have to exclude them. Now I have to teach them though, about what everything Chris Rock was saying, but that's in a whole nother story. Oh, that's a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. Hey, you mm -hmm. guys, speaking of, uh, drinking. So Jillian, uh, our friend from MomCo app was talking about uh, what, did, what were you saying, Jillian? And uh, you can see here on the side, if mm -hmm. you want to leave text messages for us while we're talking, please go ahead and do it. And we will read them and we'll talk back to you. Like Laura thinks we're awesome. Thank you, Laura. I think you're awesome. There's Hi. 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 She's there. Hello. Hi. Attention. Real quick before we sign off. What was it? What? What? Wait, what? What? I missed it. I oh, did Something about drinking. Oh, oh Jillian juice. Jillian juice. That will be on your shelves shortly, like a year. But low-cal, so what it is, it's raspberry vodka okay. and diet tonic. And I usually put a splash of sparkly nice in it. And raspberry, sparkly nice, so yes. it's very flavorful. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. No sugar, very little calorie. Only calories come from the vodka itself. So, And it will get you wasted because there's tons of alcohol in it. <laughs> I like where so, this is going. Because I don't know if anybody else tr drinks like Skinny Girl. Like, don't tell Bethany I'm saying this, but you can drink an entire bottle of Skinny Girl products and nothing. 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 You're like, who is this for? Is this for 14 year olds or is this for grown ass <laughs> like women? The new, it's a new age wine cooler. That's what it is. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, Jillian Juice coming soon to an Albertsons near you. Excellent. Uh, Jillian from Momco app. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> All right, you guys. With that note, we will definitely blog that recipe for you and share it from Jillian. 
And thank you so much for joining us here on The Blab. It's the best of LA with Kristen and Laura. Thank you so much, Jill Simonian. Watch. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So much fun. Wednesday nights in the five o'clock news. It is Wednesdays at 5 p.m. So make sure you go there and go to thefabmom.com. What do you say, Knickerberger? Should we sign off? We should time? sign off. We got we got a baby shower to get to tomorrow, the biggest one. So we'll see you there. Make sure you check it out. And uh, check us out on momangelus.com because we're there all the time. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. bye, guys. Happy Mommy Monday. And play some Seal. To get <laughs> Woo! Bye, you guys.